Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the practical skills that are required to perform the tibial nerve mobility testing. The test is intended to bias the forces to the tibial component of the sciatic nerve. Tibial nerve mobility testing should be utilized by the physiotherapist with the intention to add tension forces along the course of the tibial nerve as it passes along the posterior medial part of the leg and then it courses down and passes behind the medial manulus into the tarsal tunnel and then into the plantar aspect of the foot. The ideal patients or the indications for the performance of the tibial nerve mobility testing are those that have symptoms such as calf pain, heel pain and pain along the plantar aspect of the foot. The intention is to find out whether any abnormal mechanical behavior of the tibial nerve has something to do with the production of the patient's symptoms. So let's get started with the practical demonstration of the tibial nerve mobility testing. So the components of the tibial nerve mobility testing are going to be the ankle dorsiflexion and eversion movement followed by the SLR test. So let's understand how to perform this. To perform this test, the therapist is again going to be in the wide step standing or the stride standing position and then the corded hand or the therapist is going to grab the distal foot from the plantar aspect in such a manner so that the therapist thumb stabilizes the metatarsophalangeal joint on the dorsal aspect of the foot and the fingers wrap around the plantar aspect. Now with this grip, the therapist is going to produce the dorsiflexion and eversion movement. And while maintaining this dorsiflexion and eversion, the cephalid hand of the therapist is going to be placed over the tibial plateau with the intention to prevent any knee flexion movement during the production of the SLR movement. So this is how we are going to produce the tibial nerve mobility testing. Another thing to be noted is that as I move the hip into flexion, I am going to shift my body weight from the corded leg to the cephalad leg. So during the performance of the mobility testing, after adding the anchor dorsiflexion and eversion movement and producing the hip flexion movement, the patient's original symptoms are closely monitored by the therapist. And if the symptoms are not reproduced, then in such a scenario, the test can be further sensitized by adding the hip internal rotation and adduction movements. So this was all about when and how to perform the tibial nerve mobility testing. See you all in our next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.